Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorov from Laravel Daily Video Channel. Today the topic will be technical. One of the most popular themes and topics and articles on my Laravel Daily blog since like 2015 is pivot tables. Pivot tables and many-to-many -many relationships. It's the most popular article by far and it's one of the most popular topics on forums like Laracast or Stack Overflow. It seems uh, simple, but at the same time not simple. So I decided to make a video about it and uh, tell you how pivot tables and many-to-many -many relationships work in Laravel. So I've prepared a fresh new project here, simple fresh Laravel with a few tables. So users table as default Laravel, and I've seeded a few users here and roles table with just name field and timestamps. So there are two roles and two users. So pivot tables are um, designed for attaching these together. So what if one user can have one or many roles and at the same time one role can have one or many users. Uh, so for that we have uh, a table which will uh, contain role ID and user ID. So let's create that in our terminal. Clear. Make migration. Create role user table. Okay. And I will copy the syntax from official arrow. I rarely uh, I rarely remember those things by heart. I usually copy them. Uh, so we have user ID with foreign key to users and we have role ID. Role ID two roles. And here here I do remember drop if exists uh, role user. Okay, I think we're good. Yep, good. Let's try to run migration. Not found role user there. What? Oh, of course. Okay, we have a table which looks like this. It's empty for now. Keep in mind that the name of the table, the pivot table, should be uh, lowercase and singular of both tables and starting alphabetically with, with row. So it shouldn't be user role, it should be row underscore user. In this case, if we name the table correctly, we can make pivot uh, table things. So for example, um, well, first thing, uh, we have to define a relationship. The relationship is called belongs to many. So if we open our user model, uh, we can create public function roles and define return this belongs to many role. Things like this. And that's it. And if we do that, then uh, I prepared a fresh home controller just to play around. So like DD. Uh, no, actually user. Let's find the first user, for example, <clears throat> and then DD user rows like that. And let's see what we get here. Sorry, browser. We have empty array. Oh, of course, we don't have any data. So actually, let's start with attaching the data. So there is a function called user roles attach. And we attach role ID. And now attach. Well, I'll check the documentation. Attach. All oh, right, of course, in brackets. Yes. Right, and and we attached role ID to user ID, and dumped the role. So we have what's the attribute? We have user one as administrator. Now, if we do this again, we have attached role number two. We have two items already, so we can 
do like for each user roles do something so attach is the function to add uh, uh, add things to pivot table and keep in mind we don't have any model for user roles for the pivot table not role user or anything like that we we'll just operate through these function of uh, relationships if we want to detach of course we can detach role number two and <clears throat> we have array of one again uh, also one really important function is sync so for example you want to detach role number one and attach role number two so what you have an array as a parameter so it will basically compare the existing uh, values with your values and so you you wouldn't have to delete and insert again or detach and then attach there's sync so let's try that we have array of one item and it should be simple user which is id number two as you can see right so these are the basic things how uh, how pivot table works next Next, so we have uh, this structure, and by the way, we can uh, move it the other way around. So in row model, we can create public function users and return this belongs to many user class like this. And in our home controller, we can uh, find a row so first row and td row users let's try that one and the first row has no values at the moment i think yeah because it's row number two so row number two should show us show us user yep correct so what if you want to add more fields here so for example timestamps or like uh, I don't know user roles or what can be the field um, any name like um, I can come up with that um, actually let's try with timestamps first so let's add timestamps make migration add timestamps to User table. Okay. Again, I'll copy something from here. Okay, so we have row user and table timestamps. And we don't need down migration for now. Let's run. That doesn't look great. Again. Something went wrong in my console here. Terminal. Yep, yeah, we're good. So now we have timestamps, right? And if we define belongs to many with timestamps here, there's a separate function for that with timestamps. Uh, now, if we attach things here, uh, let me try. Let's delete that one. So, sync, let's for example attach, or well, actually sync one. And let's see what we've got. Okay, we still have one item, but see, created that and updated that uh, are, are filled in. And how do we? access them so if we need for example uh, for each user roles like echo for each user role as role echo role create that right actually thinking about it uh, I'll show you first role name so done that for now um, <clears throat> undefined user. No, no, we we'll do that. Thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
so we have the list of of basically of rows uh, but if we want to add something from the pivot table I created that uh, we need to add another thing called pivot so the structure uh, pivot table then pivot and then the field will actually show us the field from that pivot table which is this one row user created that and the same thing is actually with any other field um, let's add for example name whatever add name to row user table okay we have the name and we have where is it we have the name here and we have a new field called name fine and so I'm finished if something is wrong with my terminal I guess my CPU is running really loudly anyway uh, migrate so we have a new field which is name and how do we fill it first thing so when attaching user Rows attach first row and we can add array of fields whatever we want so all those fields name test name let's try that okay and now actually I didn't delete that one so see we have the second created add and the result of the pivot table is test name and uh, the same thing here so you can uh, actually attach what happens actually interesting if I try to attach again hmm. okay it did attach it here interesting it does allow multiple rows okay it should be restricted probably uh, but let's try sync and it should be the only row left I hope hmm. no sync doesn't work um, actually let's delete all the rows here and try that user row sync what did I miss here okay anyway attach and name all right that's what I forgot of course we need to define the name here with time step and then with pivot columns name so we need to define that field in the relationship now we see that now uh, I'm attaching and I see all those three names yeah so basically that's it sorry for a little confusion here I've forgotten some things which I've used long time ago but this is how the pivot table work basic, basically in, uh, in Laravel and I hope it's useful for you and you will use it in your projects as well.